Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to a new series of videos all about sharpening. I am calling this the Sharpening Masterclass, which sounds a little bit pretentious and uh, and I don't mean to be. Uh, okay, I've made a couple of videos on how to sharpen plain blades and one on gouges and one on chisels in the past. And the one I made on the chisels was many years ago. By many years, I mean probably two. Um, and I've grown up a little bit since then. But uh, what I've been planning this series since that video, because in that series, uh, I said that anybody who uses a honing guide, and I'm paraphrasing here, uh, should hang up their tools because they can't call themselves woodworkers, or, or something to that extent. I was taught how to build guitars, well, no, I was taught how to build viola de gambas by a very narrow-minded man who taught me the only way to sharpen a chisel. And, uh, and that way definitely and emphatically did not involve honing guides. And uh, he used the word crutch and um, various other words that I'm not going to repeat on this family show. Now, in the comments underneath that video, I was lambasted just a little bit by people saying, well, herding guys aren't all that bad, and they do have their place, and Ben, you're a fool! So, uh, well, I went out and bought a honing guide, and then realised that, yes, cheap honing guides are just rubbish, and I went and bought a, a slightly better one, and I'm now thinking about getting a really good one, just to see if it's actually worth it. Now, what that said to me, and a whole, poor, whole part of my YouTube career at the moment is that I learn as much from you guys as you do from me and there are many 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 different ways to sharpen a knife with which to skin the cat I can't believe I said that um, and I've been watching videos for two years on how to sharpen and reading books Ron Hock is a good one and uh, how to make knives and sharpen things and how steel reacts and and all of that and uh, this series of which this is the first video and an overview uh, is basically going to cover pretty much every single technique that I've been able to find for sharpening a blade up to but not including testing your katana in the body of a slave uh, I'm afraid they don't allow that sort of thing these days. Uh, we'll settle for shaving our arm with a chisel. Anyhow, uh, okay, so we are going to go through sharpening chisels, sharpening gouges, sharpening plain blades and scrapers, and even gooseneck scrapers, and spoke shaves and all spoke shaves and other little, small, fiddly tools, for example. Uh, the tiny little, um, that is not a block plane, tiny little thumb planes for violin makers and the like. Uh, you even have to spend time sharpening your marking gauge knives. How, how would you go about sharpening a marking gauge knife? It's tiny. Uh, and of course, knives. And uh, for, for many years I went off and uh, uh, I used scalpel blades instead of the lovely Japanese knives, and this is actually a Crimson Guitars knife, uh, simply because I didn't have to sharpen the scalpel blades. But, with a little bit of practice, it's actually quicker and much more uh, economical to sharpen it yourself. Now, techniques. We are going to cover, um, we're going to cover the scary sharp system, water stones, oil stones, diamond stones, uh, Stone stones. Um, okay, using strops, we're going to cover honing guides and also powered, powered sharpening methods, some of which incorporate the scary sharp system, of course, but others are rotary water wheels or um, powered strops as well for carving stuff. And, of course, um, belt sanding machines and uh, the like. I am frequently going to draw judgments through every single video. I will say, this is how I feel, 
um, this is my favorite technique, this works, and possibly, in fact, I know for a fact, just to give you a bit of a taster, uh, the way that I sharpen my chisels is predominantly on water stones, and, uh, you know, I, I do it my way. One of my top luthiers, Tom, <laughs> he, he gets a bench grinder, and on the bench grinders, this isn't even a water wheel, he will grind away a hollow, so it's called a hollow grind, of course, and then he doesn't use a honing guide because the hollow touches at two points, and he uses that as a reference so that he gets the, uh, the angle right. Now, I would be so scared. He only uses a little grinder, but still, it's a grinder and there's no water involved. Um, but, depressingly, Tom's tools are almost always sharper than mine. <laughs> And uh, that's not because the other apprentices keep on borrowing mine. It's because he's very, very good at sharpening. And I've watched him and listened to him. And uh, every now and then I cry, sacrilege. And uh, he sort of giggles at me and then goes, yes, but mine's sharper, isn't it? And uh, I still don't quite like the way he does it. But the results are undeniable. If you feel comfortable using the scary sharp system which is incredibly expensive uh, over the long run then that's what you feel comfortable with and by all means go with it the the whole point of this series of videos is to give you the options and show you I'm, I'm gonna try and bring all of the information into one place and publish it on YouTube now I am NOT going to talk about the different types of steel there are out there this steel sharpens better than that steel, or, or what have you. I'm not, this isn't, this isn't that kind of video. This is the physical, this is how you do it if you want to use this method. This is how you do it if you want to use this. And uh, I hope it's going to be entertaining and enjoyable. Uh, now, I'm going to just tell you one thing. Before we go into all of this, Waterstones rule. <laughs> um, and that's not just because I was taught originally on Waterstones. Um, every single time I've tried something different, the Waterstone, I come back to the Waterstone as being overall getting the, better, the best result. Um, so if you want to skip to the end, that's the final conclusion. However, there are multiple different ways in which to use that water stone. And, uh, and there are times when I will use a, a motorized belt grinder. The, uh, uh, the Pro Edge by Robert Sorby is a mind-blowingly awesome tool. Uh, at other times, I will use uh, a, a, water, um, a water grinder. I suppose it's got a big diamond wheel from Triton that goes around in a bath of water. And that's much safer because it doesn't heat anything up quite so much as a, as a bench grinder, for example. But there are times when I would prefer to use that um, because it makes more sense with that particular tool. And strops, strops are great. Honing compound, um, glass, on its own glass can, can turn an edge on something. And uh, I'm gonna cover all of these things. This is the overview video, so please, um, don't forget to subscribe, click like if you, uh, if you liked this, um, and uh, I am going to have this set up as a playlist, so find out what playlist this video is in, click subscribe to that playlist, and as we put the videos up every week, uh, they will appear in your inbox, I assume, like magic. Uh, thank you for watching, and... Uh, if you have, in fact, this is the main reason for this video, if you have your favorite method and you think I might not have heard about it yet, please send me links to videos, send me links to articles or to people swearing blind that, you know, rubbing your knife on the skin of a still warm bear will, you know, have some magical effect. I, I, I want to know these secrets. Um, in the end, in the end, you can change my mind about Waterstones, and that, that is the challenge. So, thank you for watching.
Have an excellent day. And go and find me some sharpening videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.